forces are, are organizing on standard ground. And I want to invite Representative Alicia Reese to come up here. She's the president of the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus, and she's been leading this fight with the Ohio, uh, with the Amos and the rest of the Ohio Brands and Platter to oppose standard ground. And I didn't actually prep Alicia about what we're going to talk about. So, um, Alicia, something big is going to tomorrow morning. Can you tell us what's at stake. First of all, I'm giving honor to God. I want to thank all of the work that the Amos Group uh, has done and will continue to do uh, in the community. I know my pastor, Dr. H. L. Harvey, Jr. from New Friendship Baptist Church, um, and members of our church who work with uh, the Amos Project. Um, but personally, I want to really thank you because the issue of Stand Your Ground, many of us uh, who were very uh, upset, uh, concerned, and quite frankly, outraged uh, uh, regarding the Trayvon Martin uh, tragedy where an innocent African-American teen was gunned down in Florida. And uh, because of the law, it was of the law for this team to be gunned down. We thought that that was just in Florida. Um, and so while we were rallying here in Cincinnati and cities across uh, the country, um, we also saw in the State House they were moving very quickly to introduce House Bill 203, uh, which is Ohio's version of Stand Your Ground. And so we found that out. Uh, Paul called me right away. He kept calling, calling, and he said, We've got to do something. And so we launched a petition drive. Uh, we had a cross section of clergy and various faiths from across the state. We had a day of action and over uh, you know 10 to 12 buses that came from across the state. Um, the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus and the Congressional Black Caucus president, she sponsored also uh, additional buses. We had college students who uh, had uh, marches and protests uh, and we uh, came together at the State House and delivered 10,000 signatures from across the state uh, to say no to stand your ground. Uh, and last week, uh, Paul and many others drove up to Columbus and um, they, I guess they wrote the paper, something that's unprecedented, I didn't know it was. Uh, if you are not on a committee, and you are not a co-sponsor of a bill, as a state legislature, you don't testify in committee. And I said, no, I've got to testify. So um, I went in and delivered those 10,000 signatures directly to the chair of that committee and we had citizens that came up and also testified. We also had um, resolutions from all of the major cities in the uh, state of Ohio. So there's been a cross-section of folks, thanks to the organizing of uh, the Amos Project uh, and others, for us to be able to let the voices be heard of the voiceless, uh, the voices of folks who can't get off work and be at the state house. Uh, it helps me so they know it's not just me, it's the citizens are saying no to stand your ground. Unfortunately, tomorrow, uh, after they told us they weren't going to move this bill, uh, they are going to vote on House Bill 203 tomorrow. Uh, I'm not on that committee. I won't have a vote on it. I have uh, just got the phone before I got here to uh, have an amendment to be introduced. Uh, calling to take out Stand Your Ground from that bill and kill the bill. Uh, I probably will not be successful there, but one of the things that I do know is sometimes when it looks like things are so rough, uh, when you think like there's nowhere else to turn, um, you have to get on your knees because there's something bigger and greater than all of us that can change things, that can move mountains, that can open doors you didn't even know existed. And so I was asked tonight that we pray uh, and when we get done, I learned, uh, as my pastor say, faith without work is dead. So I will get up off my knees. Uh, I'll be ready to drive to Columbus uh, tomorrow. And uh, I will voice our opinion against Stand Your Ground. And when it comes up for a full vote, uh, which will probably be the following week or in a couple weeks, you'll hear back from uh, Paul and we will come to the State House and we will fight all the way to the end because our children deserve us to fight. Uh, it's so important that we don't have a law put in the books that 
allows a person to just follow someone and gun them down. Uh, human life is important. And so I look forward to uh, working with each of you. If you have not signed the petition, um, Paul will tell you how to do that. We need everybody, every citizen on record against Stand Your Ground. It's not just Florida. It has come to our doorstep. Uh, and so we've got to stand up and fight that. So thank you and God bless you.